Hi there, uh, this is probably going to be our first YouTube channel. My name is Carl, and, and this, this is, is me, Max. My son, Max. Uh, I'm from North Coast Constrictors, or rather, I own North Coast Constrictors. We started breeding Paul Pythons uh, in 2021, early 2021. We're from South Africa. Um, this is the start of a journey for us. We want you to join it with us for, for all uh, aspiring new Paul Python. Paul Python. Paul Python stuff. <laughs> Paul, well, you can see I haven't made a YouTube video before. Uh, all aspiring new Paul Python breeders. Uh, I've gone through eight months of learning. I've got a great mentor, a guy that breeds snakes. I'm not going to mention names yet because of, you know, I've got to get permission. Yep. Find out first if, if, if it's okay that I mention his name. Um, that's one of the most important things when you starting off in a hobby like this uh, to have a mentor that can guide you and teach you the correct way to keep these snakes and breed them if you're just a small time hobbyist uh, if you're just a, a keeping it as a pet and you want more than one it's very important to keep these snakes in the correct conditions and i'm going to show you the snake that started it all i had uh, no intention of becoming a ball python breeder at all um, I bought my son Maxia a ball python for Christmas in December 2020. So almost a year ago. And it was just a plain, normal female, no genes. And I'm going to show you that snake now. Okay, so this is the girl that started it all. She is a female, normal ball python. Let's take a better look at her. Absolute beaut. Um, and like any new snake, snake breeder, a snake keeper, when you buy a snake as a pet, I think I've done what every other newbie has done and we named her car. Um, but anyway, this, this is the girl that started it all and is the reason why I have all of this now uh, in less than a year so this is my son's snake uh, max uh, she is probably weighing around about 850 900 grams now when we bought her she was weighing about 150 grams uh, in december 2020 so she's she's a good eater she hasn't eaten for about three months um, but she hasn't lost any size or anything like that. I think there she's possible hit for something. I doubt it. Maybe maybe you more experienced breeders and collectors out there can can look at her and tell me if you see any markings or giveaways on her that uh, that maybe she's a normal hit for something that uh, I wouldn't know about. Uh, but uh, the, the breeder that sold it to me just said she's a normal but I'm 99% I'm, I'm certain that she she was she's normal head for something because that guy doesn't breed normals to more to normal um, he, he would have bred her maybe one of the snakes was a normal to something else and they breed so many that uh, you know they probably couldn't they can't remember, they, they don't know, they can't tell what, if she's head for anything. So all I have to do is, is prove her out, breed her over the years and see what comes out of her. Maybe we hit the odd, odds, maybe we don't. So, so this is Carl and she's a, she's a girl and she's my son's snake and she's the one that started the whole journey for us. Okay, so... From Carl and Max at North Coast Constrictors, please like and subscribe if you do like this video and if you are a new ball python breeder. Um, and uh, it'll be great to have you along on this journey. I hope it's a nice, fruitful, long one. And it'll be great if you were a part of that. Cheers.